happy Monday, friends. It is May the 4th, and welcome to Collective Post and Flow. We are on my balcony today because it's really, really nice outside, which I'm realizing might make it a little difficult for you to see the card, but like, we'll make it work. It's fine. Yeah, so a little bit of break from the dailies doing this. I feel good. I feel refreshed. Actually, I did like one of my favorite meditations last night. Yeah, that's right. I'm giving you meditation tips now, too. Um, there was a really long, loud uh, rainstorm. And as I was lying in bed, I was envisioning, because I'm a huge visualization type of person, uh, like the rain actually washing over me, taking away all the blockages that are in my system, all the worries, all the doubt, and just washing everything away that I don't need and just clearing me to be really just fresh and open and in a good place. And voila, I am in a good place today. So let's get to the reading and the movement. Might look a little disheveled and that's because I went for a nice long walk this morning. So building up new routines as well. I had a great routine for quarantine and now it's time for a new one. See, like I said, I do something that I enjoy until I don't enjoy it and then I adjust. So here's the adjustment, morning walks, regardless of the weather. All right, to the reading. What type of energy are we looking at for the week? Because this isn't daily anymore. It's a weekly energy of everyone and everything. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, camera's here. Ooh. The Page of Wands. Remember, wands are cards of action and movement. Pages are typically messengers. So we got this badass looking chick with the dragon. Some eggs at her, eggs at her feet. Lots of blues. I wonder what color I'm gonna tell you about today. Probably blue. But yes, here is the page of wands for your energy for the week. Not just today the week and you might notice different flexes with this particular message that I'm going to tell you about. So just kind of be aware. You might notice something like on Wednesday that you didn't feel the first two days and you're just like, oh wow, that's the page of wands. Mm. Right, this is... Wands, wands, wands. There it is. Page of wands. Energy, youth, new beginnings, loyalty, messenger, studious, childishness, childishness, new erotic adventure. <laughs> the page of wands indicates creative restlessness and new ideas. Listen to your unconscious mind. Follow your creative urges. With persistent strength and balance, your vision can become defining work. The dragon came to me as a symbol of the will. With motivations, your efforts can soar. Soaring flying. Hmm. The dragon eggs at the page's feet are symbols of potential. The page holds a wand that is just beginning to sprout blossoms. There is an erotic element to this card as well. The page of wands sometimes foretells the arrival of a new lover or a new phase in a re erotic relationship. In the reading, the page of wands often represents a new phase of life. It could mean a small reboot or a major overhaul. All pages are associated with messages and messengers. So be on the lookout for messages that are going to put aspects of your life in motion. Uh, let's see. For example, you may get a letter warning you of a major rent hike, which prompts you to move to a new place or embark on a new journey. Uh, this card may show up when someone young and dynamic enters your world and shakes things up. For example, a new love interest or a peppy coworker. Try to be open to change and find ways to create positive movement for from the new opportunities you will soon be offered. So new phase of life. You have this massive amount of will behind it. This dragon size fiery energy of will behind this new phase or you'll meet someone new that has this willpower that excites and fires you up so the page of wands isn't just a message it's a messenger per se it's the action this motivation these creative urges 
There's a lot of really good things that you can channel with this card and this energy throughout your week. So obviously blues would be a color. <laughs> um, but really wear anything that's going to make you feel creative or open. Like a confidence type of color for you. So maybe it's not blue. Maybe it's something else that works, you know, better for you. And yes, the page of wands. We're soaring. We've already done Bacasna. But I want something else that gives us a lift. Because that seems right. Our leg can be the one that is, um, you know, stable and just helping us sprout these new ideas, this new, this new phase, this new opening for new people in our life or new creative opportunities and ventures. I'm thinking Warrior 3. Yeah, Warrior 3 sounds right. Warrior 3 sounds good. It's going to be Warrior 3. So, meet me on your mat or on your balcony or wherever you want to have a space to do this. I'll have my, my, uh, my mat out here and that's fine. So, Warrior 3 you can come into from a couple different ways. Going through Sun Cell A's, working through Warrior 1, Warrior 2. I'm just going to have a step back into a lunch. I actually want this opening all the way up. You need plenty of room. Great. So you can, let's see, chair pose. And start building up that fire in our legs. And we will step back with our left leg to begin. 90 degree angle bend in the front knee. Weight is in. The ball of the foot of the back leg, hamstring is racing towards the sky. You're in your center. You're not moving too far forward or too far back. It's really rooting in with your right leg. Bring your hands to heart center to start. And then we're going to find that flight, that lift. And we're finding that because we have the wand of our leg to really root us into where we're lifting off and soaring to. So begin to shift your weight into the front leg as you come up off your back toes lifting them up to make your chest, to make it parallel with your chest. I like to keep my foot flexed here, toes pointing down and pressing the heel away. I find that helps with my balance. Hands can remain at heart center, or you can take them out to the sides for a bit more of an airplane. Hold here for five full breaths. Let the wiggles happen, it's fine. more deep breaths. You can do this. Last full one. Good. As you inhale, lift the chest, lower the leg back down. High lunge. Don't lose your balance, or if you do, it's fine. Hands to heart center. Just step the left foot up to meet the right. Chair pose again. Exhale, Tadasana. Wiggle it out. Let's do the other side. Rooting down both feet, chair pose. Rooting in the left leg, step back with the right foot. Hands to heart center. Preparing here. Beautiful, as you inhale, bring the chest forward. Lift the back toes up off the mat, straighten that front leg. Hold five full breaths, beginning hand variation that calls to you now. Lower, lift the chest, high lunge, hands to heart center. And then inhale, step to chair pose. Exhale, release. Wiggle it on out. I might have just been a black shadow there. Probably definitely was because of the bright background, but it's fine. You get the gist. You hear me. You saw it. Ooh, let me actually get the Sanskrit for that today. I really am trying to be a bit more aware. Well, not aware. I'm actually pulling out like an anatomy book so I can really focus on what I'm doing here. Oh, 
Duh. Vera Pedrosina, three. Silly me. Yes, just Vera Pedrosina, three. And no flow with it. We're just holding that steady today. Rooting ourselves in. Stabling ourselves out to soar within our creative potential, within meeting new people, new partners. Just having that fire, you know? That dragony fire to kind of just put us in a place where we need to be. Yeah, new beginnings. Yeah. Follow your creative verges. You've got this. You're strong enough to really get your will. There you go. Your leg, your standing leg is your will. It is the one. It is your motivations that show that with that firmly rooted, firmly grounded, you can quite literally soar. So yes, here's your reading for the entire week. And we'll be back on Friday to give you a different reading, but see we where she, this page of wands pops up in your life throughout the week. And let me know about it. Talk to me. Let me know if you felt like this was an accurate reading by the end of the week, or if you're just like, Meh, I didn't really feel that. Well, if you didn't feel it, do you feel like you were hindering yourself from feeling it? Mm. Oh, now you can see me. Look at that. And I'm going away. Okay. Excuse me. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the message and the movement. And I will see you soon. Farewell.